Hey there everybody, welcome to This Better Home, a channel for do-it-yourself projects, and I also do lots of home product reviews, basically anything to help your, your home be a better place, and I try to save you all time and money. So click that subscribe button if you're interested in getting regular videos. Now, this video starts now, and we're gonna be taking a look at how you can switch out, diagnose, and fix a light switch that is giving you trouble. You can see this particular one, has some type of delay that's very sticky. Maybe the switch is broken itself. There's a delay from when I switch it to when the light turns on. Now this is a, happens to be a three-way switch. So I've got two different switches controlling one central light fixture. Can you see that? So that switch and the one that was back there when you first walk in the door. The other two light switches to the right control different um, lights and we're not gonna be looking at those. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take off the wall plate for both outlet, for, or for both uh, light switches. So I just removed one and let's remove that second one. With the light, with the wall plates removed, we can kind of start by diagnosing maybe what is the problem. Do we have wires that are disconnected? Do you see water, for example? That would be a major problem. Now, because we're dealing with electricity, make sure you turn off the breaker, the main breaker to your house if you're not comfortable, or certainly the breaker to these specific light switches. Of course, hire a licensed electrician. You do not obviously want to get yourself electrocuted. Now, I've already turned the power off, so we are good to go here. And I'm just going to kind of, uh, you can see that the wires are all in place as they should be in their respective connections. And I'm now, now I'm going to kind of test the light switch and get a look at little closer look to see what's going on. So you can see here, it's a little sticky. It should it should be operating like uh, basically a brand new switch. If you flip it, it'll quickly go down or quickly go up, right? And this one definitely has some play and it's sticking a little bit. It's also kind of dirty. So um, I'm starting to deduce maybe what the problem is. Now, if I compare the light switches to the right, we're not gonna be touching those, those are fine. Um, you can see that this light switch to the left is actually kind of cockeyed. It's actually bending in like that. And that's obviously a problem. So my guess here is that I'm gonna have to fix the actual light switch or switch them out. Now, in your case, you might, it might just be a matter of grime and dirt that build up. So with the power off, of course, it is possible that you could get some general kind of degreasing spray and very, very, very lightly, you don't wanna saturate it, right? Liquid and electricity don't match, they don't mix. So you could very gently clean around it and see if that fixes your problem. Now in this case, it is not gonna fix my problem. You can see the light switch is actually bent almost like I said. So we're gonna be switching that out. So hang with me. But uh, again, if you, maybe you just have some grime that just kinda needs to be cleaned out. And you can kind of move the the light switch a little bit and, and kind of push that paper towel with some cleaner in there to kind of get into the crevices. And again, maybe that will solve your problem. Now, if you've got water entry or something crazy, you need to call a licensed electrician and uh, figure out what's going on or any other type of problem. Um, but it's not cleaning. That's definitely for sure. Um, it's, that's not going to help us here in this video. So next, we're going to actually uh, take out the light switch. So to do so, it's pretty simple. The biggest challenge you're going to have, if you're not skilled with electrician, uh, electricity and what wire goes where, you're going to want to take a picture or mark something with a color so that you don't forget which wire connects to which space. Now this is going to get a little complicated here in a minute, um, but that's going to be the biggest thing you're going to want to do. Make sure you understand and you have that memorized which wires are going where. Okay, very important if you put those wires back in the wrong places, you're gonna have a problem. So we're gonna remove the outlets here, not the outlets, the switches, for both sets, both switches. And we're gonna, again, make sure that uh, wires are not loose or anything. They're not. So I have deduced that we're gonna have to change this baby out and replace it with a new one. So to do so, we're gonna unscrew the set screws here for the wires. And again, mark them with a color. You can actually use a colored marker on the insulation part of the wire and then do a light little dot to where that goes on the actual uh, light switch itself. 
Okay, so with that unscrewed, we can go ahead and unhook the first wire going into the switch. And I'm going to continue to unscrew and loosen the screws on all four sides. Now I'm going to keep those wires respective to their left and to their right sides. Can you see them back there? I'm not going to get them all mixed up. I'm going to keep those two to the left and those two to the right, just like that. That's part of my um, memorization strategy here. Okay, so I've got my new light switch and my old one. Now I bought a set of six of these, I think, for like six bucks. I'll put a link in the description below. These have to be three-way light switches, so don't buy the two-way ones. That's not gonna work for you. Um, check that link down below for the right ones, okay? And next we're gonna actually study the old one a little bit to kind of see, okay, can I put those wires back in the exact same place or am I gonna to have to modify a little bit? So here is the old one. You can see we've got the red travel wire to the right going into that gold screw to the right and the black common wire going into the black screw. So next I'm gonna take the new one and I'm gonna put it up and I'm gonna say, okay, are these going to the same places or not? And in this case, no, I have to switch the red travel wire with that other wire. So I'm just gonna very easily bring one up and bring one down. These two to the left stay where they are. They align pretty well. Again, if you're not comfortable with this, hire, hire yourself an electrician to figure this out. You could also Google diagrams for three-way light switches if you have different colored wires, for example, than what's in this video, or if you can't remember what goes where. So in my case, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna switch those two wires to the right just around, and we're gonna put assemble the light switch that way. So we'll go ahead and get the red travel wire hooked up to that gold uh, set screw there. And I've got one hand, so bear with me. And we'll kind of uh, get that seated. And then next we'll take this wire, that black one there, and we'll pop it down into the black screw. Now your wire might be white. I'm not sure what the hot and what the what the neutral wire uh, look like in your particular uh, setup. So again, use extra caution, research as much as you can before you engage in this project, right? All right, and next uh, is the home stretch here for the first um, light switch. So we'll get those wires set. There's my ground right there, that's pretty easy. It's the bare wire that connects to the green. Pretty hard to mess that one up. And we'll pop that back in. And note that you want that angle. You might need a needle, needle nose pliers to kind of shape things. But uh, in my case, they're already shaped because the outlet was already working before and I hooked up. So um, that was really convenient. And with those wires, uh, those set screws nice and tight. Those wires are not moving anywhere. I didn't over tighten them, but I definitely gave it a little bit of a uh, little bit of elbow grease there. I can use my drill or my screwdriver. Be careful not to over tighten. You don't want to bend anything. Very easy to do. Just make sure it is firm and snug. There's no play at all. And boom, there is our first light switch replaced. We'll go ahead and put the light, the wall plate back on. And little note here, do not over tighten these. I have cracked plenty of wall plates before, or I should say at least, uh, at least a couple before I learned my lesson. Uh, never do this with a drill. Uh, always do this hand tightened with a screwdriver, taking really, really good care that you don't crack anything on those final couple of turns. All right, and we're basically going to rinse and repeat here. We're going to take our, I'll go back to our um, our second light switch here. Again, the one to the left, the the middle and the right one. We're not going to be touching um, because those control other lights in the house. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing that we did with that first light switch. We'll take the switch out. We will check, do a visual inspection, remember, to make sure nothing is uh, visually going wrong here. There's no loose wires or anything. Now, incidentally, the middle switch there you can see is a good example of uh, not a three-way, but a two-way. It only controls, there's only one switch that controls our kitchen lights, and that's it. So it's different. And you'll notice there's not a red travel uh, switch or tra a travel wire going into that one. So again, make sure you get the right kind of light switch for your particular setup. Okay, so I'm going to pop my old one out and I'll put the new one back on. Again, I'm going to verify that my wires are going in the correct place. In this case, again, I'm going to have to switch out the uh, right two wires, just switch places there. And 
should look like should look like that. And I'll get everything nice and tight. Notice you want as much copper from that wire um, touching that screw as possible. All right, with those tightened up, I can go ahead and get those two central screws seated into the plastic back there. There we go. And I'll tighten those up. Careful not to strip out the screws and make sure those are really tight. And you can go ahead and uh, just do a little test if you'd like to make sure that swings nice and fluidly, so to speak. And then we'll replace the wall plate like this. And we'll get those screws tightened up again. Careful not to over tighten. Make sure the screws uh, don't strip. And we'll turn our power back on. In this case, I had the main turned off, but again, they're not, not essential. And let's test it out here. Look at that. Nice, clean movements of the light switch. No stickiness, no delay. We've got strong connections. So that is indeed what the problem was. Look at that. Nice and clean. The other one works really well too. And that is it. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe for more do-it-yourself home project videos. Thanks.